Hi guys. How is everybody doing? I became the manager of Birmingham City in the championship to save them from League One from extinction and save them from falling down the barrel of the English leagues. After a pretty horrendous start to the season in August, with no wins and only two draws, we actually climbed the table with a few wins in the last episode, even the win in the simulation, of course, away to Blackburn Rovers. At home to Ipswich, which was a very big win, and the draw to Southampton to conclude last episode. We are, first off, playing away to Plymouth Argyle, so that should be a win. And then we face Millwall away, and Cardiff at home, as well as Norwich away, that is going to be tough. Just like Watford at home. To conclude yet another episode. Okay, guys, thank you. A rebuild sombrero is now. feeling good. First off, away to Plymouth. We have a bit of a rotational side here. Of course, we have some tired players. Bielig is back in the start 11 after his international games last episode. The first game of the episode. Can we start off with a win? The answer is no, because we actually draw. Tuchevic brought us in front, but Mumba gave Plymouth Argyle the equalizer, and so it's a draw. But lads, if you enjoy this series, please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like on the video. Also, turn on that notification bell. We also accepted a bit for Marcel Oakley for 580k to, I think, the Romanian League. For the second game here of the episode, we play away to Millwall with our full strength starting 11. Oh my god, we kick off with a penalty kick for Millwall. Absolutely brilliant. World class. And they score through Broad, broad Trow or something like that. Broad Trow, I think, is the goal scorer for them. Some sort of a counter attack here. It's Diao Diaune, who is back in the start 11. Wasn't there last game. But he runs down the right wing. Can he make an impact here in the 25th minute? It's a chance. It's a goal. It's one all. Diao Diaune and our star man, Deloney, the striker. Stansfield is the goal scorer. Wow, what a game here, what a play. <laughs> Did you just see that, guys? I mean, what was that for an attack? But here we go, with maybe an attack for Diao Diaune, who goes on goal, alone against one on one against the keeper. Oh, he doesn't score. It's a shot here, but Svila with the save, and we can even go. On a counter-attack, it is Park Song Hu to Diao Diaune, who has made an impact already in this game. It is Stansfield, of course, the goal scorer. Stansfield against Wallace here. Can he go through? On goal. Stansfield gets the shot off, but it's blocked. We get a final attack here in the 88th minute, and it's a good one at that. Oh, wow. It's Stansfield. Can he create? Stansfield. No. And that is it now. It's one all at Millwall. Once again, a draw for us. Next game, we are using the second team again. They need some game time here as well. And we simulate at home, at St. Andrews. Yeah, at home. And the result, can we get our first win of the episode? Yes, we do. It is Stansfield, of course. He gets subbed in for Jucevic in the 75th. And two minutes later, he scores. We are also very lucky because Grant missed the pen just two minutes before the end of the game. I mean, let's looking at this squad here. We are, of course, approaching the January transfer window. I'm not really sure. My question is, should we go in for another guy in the January transfer window? Or should we just stick to our rule of four players per season? Of course, we have already reached the threshold of signings that we set ourselves with four per season. But maybe, if you tell me otherwise in the comments, then we could go in for maybe Stansfield, because that's our goal scorer, and of course, without him, next season would be difficult. We've also not got a lot of money, and yeah, it's up to you guys. Tell me in the comments. Into the match at Carrow Road against Norwich City. First 11, of course, this time. It's a good ball for Dembele, opening up space here to run into it's uh, Dembele Dembele see Stansfield and it's 1-0 what a beautiful goal 
beautiful team goal here and it is Jeremy Stansfield at the end of yet another ball. Now that's something dangerous here. Long cross to Barnes and it's a goal. Oh my god. They always score with those long crosses. Now Norwich on the attack once again. It's Harvey Barnes turning the defender as if it was nothing but Srila with a very important save. Well, that was not a long cross, but well, it's Pike Soing. who? Oh, what a save by the Norwich keeper. But maybe we could go on yet another counter. That would be brilliant. Not like that, guys. Maybe we can still play, but not... No, 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 no. And that was it. <laughs> Actually, yet another draw. Something very interesting. We have Pike Soing, who is second in the assists in the championship. So he's a... Uh, very valuable assister here. Final game of the episode at home at the St. Andrews just before Christmas here. And it is against Watford, one of the promotion favourites, I'd say. Can we go into Christmas Eve with a nice consciousness, knowing that we have beaten Watford at home? That is the question. Uh, Watford on the early attack here, it's Aspria just pacing through our defending. It's They are already 1 0 up here. Aspria. Now we get a long cross. This time it's more effective. It's Dembele on goal, but he... Oh, he misses a sitter here. Dennis for Watford. Kayembe. We are trying to defend, but there's a lot of space here in midfield. Bielik against Bayo, and Bielik does it. They go on yet another attack here. Very, very lonely run, but Laird is up to it. But can we at least snatch a draw from the jaws? Of the defeat. It is Jucevic who must have came come in here. It's Jucevic. He's not pacey. But can he go all the way? Yes! It is Jucevic! Last burst of speed here, the old man. Finding the equalizer. Maybe still a good ball here for Dembele. And we can go and snatch the win. No, we can't. And that should be it. It is one all. <laughs> the third or fourth draw, I think, in this episode. We haven't lost a single game in December in this episode. We've drawn a lot, but we've also won on simulation. And of course, the first uh, game was against Plymouth away. We also drew that. We drew four games in this episode. We won one. So we've made seven points out of, a, out of uh, five games. Not too good, but not too bad either. And actually, we are sitting in 13th. We have drawn 11 games, won 6 and lost 6 at the halfway point of the season here. So we are as high as we ever were in this season's championship table. Good signs for the upcoming episode, which will of course be out in the next 2 or 3 days as usual. It is Sombrero.